Okay, now for the last recipe, the one you've all waited for. Here we go. This is strawberry waffles with strawberry black pepper butter and lemon curd cream. From Bobby Flay Brunch at Bobby's in this episode of Brunch and Bloom. It's intermediate. It takes an hour and 40 minutes and active 55 minutes serves four. For the strawberry waffles, here's what you need. 24 ripe strawberries. And no, they did not make a mistake on this one. You do really do need 24 ripe strawberries. Two eating tablespoons of pure cane sugar plus one tablespoon. Two teaspoons of raspberry liqueur, but you can leave it out if you'd like. It'll just, just to give it a little flavor, but you don't need it. You really don't need it if you don't feel like it. One, one and three quarts of a cup of flour, two teaspoons of baking powder, a quarter teaspoon of baking soda, one quarter teaspoon, a quarter teaspoon of salt, three large eggs, one and a quarter cups plus two tablespoons of buttermilk, a stick of unsalted butter, melted and cooled slightly, plus four tablespoons melted for the waffle iron. For the strawberry and black pepper butter, you need 12 strawberries hulled and finely diced, two sticks of unsalted butter at room temperature, two tablespoons of honey, a pinch of salt, a pinch of coarsely ground black pepper. For lemon curd whipped cream, we need a very cold, heavy cream. It has to be cold. Not room temperature, cold. That's right. And I don't mean putting it in the freezer. Finally, grated zest of a lemon and a half a, a quarter cup of prepared lemon curd. For the strawberry waffles, you finely dice eight of the strawberries and combine a small bowl of one heaping tablespoon of sugar and raspberry liqueur if you're using that. Let's sit at room temperature until the strawberries soften slightly and release some juice. That's 15 minutes. Count it. 15. Then least slice the remaining strawberries lengthwise and toss the remaining one heaping tea tablespoon of sugar. Whisk together the flour, baking powder, baking soda, salt, and one tablespoon sh sugar in a large bowl and a small bowl. Whisk together the eggs and buttermilk and the add the wet ingredients to the dry ingredients and whisk until the mixture just comes together. Fold in the nice strawberries and their juices and add the melted butter until just combined. The strawberries are super juicy. Use a slide spoon to transfer the berries to the batter and add just a teaspoon or so of the juices. Cover and let sit at room temperature for 30 minutes. For the strawberry black pepper butter, combine the strawberries, butter, honey, salt, and pepper all in the food processor. Process until it's almost smooth. Scrape it into a bowl and set aside at room temperature. For the lemon curd whipped cream, Combine the heavy cream and lemon zest in the bowl of a stand mixer fitted with the whip attachment. Whip until slightly thickened, add the lemon curd, then you continue whipping until you see soft peaks form. Chill until you're ready to serve it. Eat the waffle iron according to the manufacturer's directions. Brush with melted butter and ladle little batter on the iron. Close the cover and cook until crisp about 4 minutes. Serve immediately or transfer your waffle to a rack set over a baking sheet and keep warm and in a 200 degree oven. Repeat with the remaining batter and melted butter. Top the waffles with strawberry butter, slice strawberries, and add a dollop of the whipped cream. Now this is a delicious breakfast. You've never had waffles like these before. And trust me, when you taste them, you're gonna be have, you will have strawberries on the brain. Maybe you will, maybe you won't, but this is one breakfast you, or brunch item that you will have time and time again. It's one of the best waffle dishes you'll ever eat. So that's going to do it. I'm Frozen Fan One. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great Sunday, and I'll catch you tomorrow for more videos. So take care and have a good night.